Hi, Macy here. A couple of my friends actually asked me how do I make my YouTube videos. I feel it will be very useful to share my experiences and tips to everyone out there if you are interested in making tech YouTube tutorials. I will be covering the software I'm using, also the hardware, and at the end I will be talking a little bit about the content. First, let's talk about software. I actually do editing my videos. I'm still using my Mac Air. It's actually capable to rendering videos and do all the editing for me. I have a subscription to Adobe Creative Cloud, which comes with all the video and audio editing tools. The price is actually very reasonable. They even have special price for students and professors. So go check it out. A couple people really liked my intro on my channel as well. They asked me how I made it. Actually, I downloaded the template online. It was free. I just changed the text and also the color. Since the Adobe Creative Cloud came with After Effects, well, it made my life a bit easier. If you're not interested in spending money on the software, actually, there are tons more free ones out there. I think iMovie is really good. And uh, there are a lot of other options for PC as well. In terms of screen recording, I believe there are tons of those free for PC and for Mac, you can just directly using the QuickTime to do screen recording. On your Mac, you can just go with QuickTime Player and click File, New Screen Recording, and then you can just record the entire screen this way. Let's talk a little bit about hardware. I think if you're not going, going to show yourself in the video, the first investment you should do is actually a good recorder. This one is the Zoom H1. It's a really good entry level for YouTuber. It records good audio and it's portable, it's cheap. This is actually the first investment I did. I find this is very easy to use compared with other recorders and uh, definitely the first thing you should buy as an uh, upgrade to your hardware. Then the second upgrade, if you, you are actually going to show yourself or recording certain devices or screen, you could upgrade with a little webcam. This is just one I got and it's price is very reasonable you can get a really good webcam for a hundred bucks it just hooks up to your computer and you can just use QuickTime to record everything and here you go then the, th the third hardware most people actually don't really think about it it's the lighting because as us most of youtuber who does technical videos we actually do have a job it's really hard to find the best time, best lighting, best environment to film the video. So a lighting system, it's actually very, very essential. I spent about $60 on Amazon to got a, the basic three point lighting, but this at least makes my schedule more flexible. Let me show you the light. As you can see, I have two light here. Since I have a light on the top as well, so I put two here. They are, look very professional, but they're actually are not that expensive. Yeah, here is my studio. Actually, in terms of space, I just bore my friend's office for filming. Now you have seen my lighting setup, then I will show you a little bit more about my hardware upgrade. So you can see here, I have another little mic. It's called La VR mic. It's better than the regular microphone because it doesn't record all the other environment noises around you. It's extremely hard to find a super, super quiet place to film. So with this mic, you actually can hear all the other voices around me. So actually, I'm in an office space. There are people talking, but you cannot really hear them. That's another benefit of the upgrades. It will cost you a little bit more money, but if you prefer to have a better audio recording, or less hassle when you're doing editing, I think this is definitely a good upgrade. And then I definitely did upgrade my camera. There are a lot of options out there. I know the Canon 
has a lot of entry level DSLR that does really good with recording. And I recommend you have a flip screen that you can see yourself. So for example, that's what I'm having right now. I have a screen on my camera actually flips out. So I can record just on my own without worrying about myself be out of the scene or anything. So definitely keep that in mind. While recording, since we know that we can edit in our video afterwards, we can repeat the same thing over and over again until we feel happy about it. Have more silent breaks instead of uh, uh, having noises. It is actually make it even harder to do editing afterwards. The third part is about the content. I usually making videos every two weeks. This is actually the least you should upload for your YouTube channel. Apparently, the Google has a history to keep track of viewers viewing behaviors for every two weeks. If you are not uploading often enough, your video will be not remembered in their history. At least that's what I know so far. However, I know everyone has a very, very busy schedule. I think quality definitely is more important than quantity. Posting often is definitely important. However, having good content is even more important. And what do I make in my videos? I usually making videos about the problem I had in my real life. When I'm working, I will counter certain issues. That takes me about like days and weeks. And I figure if I can share those tips I have online, that will be helping more people. And that will be a really good thing. And certainly those videos getting more hits than other videos. The last but not least is the filming spot. I'm trying to change my filming spot very often to give you a bit fresh look of every videos. So here is actually my friend's office. They just painted pictures of their favorite cartoon characters and their superheroes. I think it will be a really good spot for this video. Another question people often ask me is, what are the feedbacks from other people? You know, before I started, I was really worried about the negative feedback as well. Actually, all the feedback I got are very positive. I think people in this industry, we are hungry for knowledge and we are seeking for help. And the people who are looking for those calm content online, they're generally very, very educated and very smart people. So if you are making educational content for technical industry, I think you should never worry about the negative feedback. Everyone here, it's awesome. This is the end of my tips for YouTube technical channel. Please leave the question at the comment down below. I will try to answer as best as I can or maybe making a follow-up video and see you next time. Bye. Me and my team will submit our first glassware. It is called City Spot. You can check it out from the link down below. And I think this experience is very unique and there are a lot of things I wish I knew before we started working on the app. In this video, I'm going to share you some tips before you start even thinking about your glassware.